This is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. The 35,000 ton battleship HMS Howe, flagship of Britain's new Pacific Fleet, called at Sydney, Australia last December. In hazy weather, she felt her way up the harbour while the ship's company was kept busy, seeing to it that she was looking her best on this important occasion. It would be the first time the people of Sydney would make her acquaintance. Her visit also marked Britain's increasingly impressive part in the war against Japan. Her 10, 14 inch guns might soon be in action against Japanese warships, or they might be bombarding Japan's Pacific bases. Her 5.25s and her AK batteries were ready to deal with attack by the enemy's land or carrier based aircraft. But in the meantime, the visit to Sydney was obviously an occasion for spit and polish. To the ship's company, the visit meant other things as well. It meant the chance to get ashore and enjoy that hospitality for which Sydney is so famous. And of course, if the Empire's distant ports are famous for entertaining the Navy ashore, the Navy is equally famous for returning the compliment. Australian kids made the most of the opportunity. <music> Captain McCall, commanding Howe, had this to say about the ship and the Navy in the Far East. We in this ship are proud at the prospect of taking part in the war in the Pacific. We are out to revenge the Prince of Wales and Repulse to take our full share in bringing about the defeat of Japan. The Royal Navy is on the job. Together with America's powerful fleets in the Far East, they intend to play their full part in teaching Japan a lesson which she would be wise never to forget. On the west